So every once in a while, you have to pinch yourself when you're doing the digital nomad thing. We're not on vacation. We're not on vacation. And today is a Monday. We're it's hugging a Rackle. We sold our house, we sold our cars, and we sold all of our stuff. So we could travel the world full time. While working full time. We are just average people who have always wanted to see the world. Come follow along while we listen to the greatest hits. Today is a Monday. It's a normal work day. We went and we climbed two fairly large hills. Name of the game is stairs and slopes. This is cool. Look at this. Lungs of steel. Sign on the side of that mountain, and it's like tower back there. Yeah, we, all, yeah, we saw the clock tower. Today. That's right. That for about it, I actually forgot about the clock tower. <laughs> you can't see it. To the it left. It's just to the left here like of this, this building. See, there it is. You can see the peak of it. <laughs> we climbed up there. Heading up to this clock tower. It's really nice. It really is a it's a super chill kind of area to hang out up here. Huh. Oh. Apparently we just missed the bell tower. Go up to the top of the television tower and climb around on the side of those hills. That was comfortable. I'm glad we're doing it at this age because when I'm 65 70 I'm not gonna be walking a lot of those paths it works for now so we can we're we can still spry enough yeah <laughs> we, can, we can't hop along uh, the path but we can definitely carefully. hike the path yes. yeah yeah way that's up where there we were. Whoop, that's whoop. where we were <laughs> now it's good workout it's a good good exercise good fresh air and great views Pace. and to go up there to the top of that hill and see all the monuments and things along the way plus see that monument there it is the statue it's up there on the top of the hill we're, we're, we're right there, uh, there. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we're going to go across this playground and then make our way up the hill i'm still sweaty from the last hill <laughs> <laughs> We're determined to see how much climbing we can do in one day. We can climb every hill within 15 minutes of our place. There's a lot of hills in Plovdiv. Yeah, there are. It's very hilly areas, not It's great for views and for, you know, exercise. working your legs. <laughs> so, in case we didn't already have enough exercise, coming up the hill. 
a nice little workout area. It's literally halfway up the side of this hill. There's the radio tower that we were up on that hill 40 minutes ago. Rachel's back there talking about stairs carved into the hill. And and I'm not quite ready for that. Yeah, I was just talking about your hey, oh. <laughs> Back that way. Down the hill. They have stairs carved into the side of the hill. So I guess if you want a harder climb than this, like why? But you could go up the stairs right up the side of the hill. I was it's I was telling the, the people on the crazy. camera that yeah, I was I was not making about fun of me doing that. I didn't no, do it. Not, I just went to look. I, I I figured that you wanted to do just it. Just went to so. look. <laughs> I was just looking. <laughs> if I don't get my ten thousand steps today, something's wrong with my watch. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to the top of the hill, and before we go see the statue, gotta go check this out. as the statue is. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. You come up here. It's pretty great. Now we start the trek down. But according to my watch, I've only done 5,800 steps today. I think something's wrong with my watch because that's just ridiculous. <laughs> really doesn't matter how much of this that I see. I am always just going, what? You'd think you'd get used to it, but I really, really don't. Ever. Engineering marvel all the way up there, in my opinion. Well, we just finished hiking a bunch of different hills. Really far. And this is the last one. We're ready to go get something. All that before. This, 1530, which means it's 330. She doesn't start work for another half hour. So, what are we doing now? We're sitting in front of the what amphitheater and just, just hanging out here. It's definitely a pinch yourself kind of thing because I think pretty much daily we say that to each other. This, we're not on vacation. This is so weird. Yeah. Five months and we're still not used to it. And I think every time we go to a new location yeah. is when it hits us more because once you're in a place you know how it is you settle in you get used to a daily routine but today's the first work day here and um it's only our second full day here we've seen a lot already and we've seen a ton of stuff it really is true it's, you get out of it what you want so on a weekday like today we saw so much and had a great time yeah and um a anyway sweaty and hot and be sore later but totally worth it every time so the in the trade-off game of selling everything getting rid of everything and you're trying to think leaving about this everybody. for yourself leaving behind you know family and friends that's the hardest. is the hardest part by mm -hmm. far yep. everything else it's all upside yeah it really is um, hundred percent after five months don't regret any of it so I do miss friends and family so if you're watching this we miss you guys more than you know yep we look so, forward to the time that we get to go back and, you know, make the big expensive trip back to the U.S. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> We're going to save up for that one. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's the thing. Once you're here, traveling between countries. It's not so bad. Take a train or to take a bus. Country. Uh, depending on how far it is, maybe you pick a flight. But it's a cheap flight, so. It's five months and I think we've been five countries. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're including... Vatican City, technically, its own little country. That's right. <laughs> Can't complain. We're loving it and so thrilled that we get to do this and we know how crazy it is. And we know we are extremely thankful 
Yeah, e- every day. Vet it, vet it heavily, but if yeah. you're thinking about it, you're kicking the tires on the idea of the digital nomad life. It is, you know, it's got challenges and everything. Everything has challenges. Well, yeah. You got challenges if you're at home. You got something breaks on the car. You got something that goes wrong in the house, and you got to get repairs. And you got to, you know, I mean, you have normal stuff you got to deal with. It's just different stuff. Not, not, yeah, you don't have to do that. What yeah. you're doing, there's say, no cars, no our, house. Our challenges are just about, oh, we're having trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> or we're we're trying to figure out what is our next destination and we or, can't pick between the Airbnbs. Our apartment's not clean or whatever. <laughs> it's trivial. <laughs> Look where we are. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Look where we are. So it's we, all worth it. We can highly endorse the lifestyle <laughs> yeah. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments and we'll we'll answer everybody. I yeah. think we're going to do a question answer video at some point soon. Um, so if you have any questions, let us know and we will do our best yeah, to answer you.